I can see why you would have enjoyed living here. <laughs> As we walk through the city by the ancient road, we can literally see hundreds of these cave dwellings. A few thousand years ago, this place would have been busy with people working, children playing, and all of the sights and sounds of ancient society. Yeah, this cave it was used by, uh, for the health center for the Bedouins that mm -hmm. time. And uh, the doctors is come in the weeks or two weeks one time and the people wait for him here. Oh. And uh, they give them medicines or some people sick or something mm -hmm. to find out. And the house it's behind you, it's here. Mm -hmm. It's the Bedouin who was living in this cave. Wow. Yeah. wow. And it was closed. This, they built the stones to uh -huh. protect themselves from the winds and the rains. Oh, okay. But, but when the Bedouin moved from Petra, the governments take the stone away because they want to oh, okay. a nature, you know? I see. Yeah, not so stone. they were originally covered? Yeah, the covers, like okay. uh, the ones here, you know? Mm -hmm. They built the stones and doors okay. and everything. And that's the way the Bedouins live in the caves around. And there is more caves behind also. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. And this is the way to monastery. We're going okay, to... shall we go? Yeah. Our next stop in Petra is the monastery at one of the highest points in the city. 